So, go ahead and give me your name. Hi, my name is Beth. And why are you doing the uh, sustainable living? I am doing the sustainable living project because, you know, I really just kind of want to get back where I'm growing my own food, know what's in my food. And really, I'm just going to learn all about it. My friend's doing bees. We're really just kind of promoting a healthy living in your own backyard kind of situation. It really kind of, with the pandemic and everything, I think it's... Very good idea about this time in life. Right. Now, what also are you hoping to get with doing it here at the community center? At the community center, I would like to be able to create like a food forest and create where we are even maybe having little markets and stuff like that to just kind of maybe make some profit, help with the food bank that we have here once a month and just really kind of help the community out and teach them as well how to do it at their house. Oh, great. And then also too, I heard that um, you were hoping to help the students with the volunteer hours. What's that about? That is Bright Future Scholarships. It is from the Florida Lotto. It's a scholarship program that they have in the schools. And every student has to have so many volunteer hours in order to qualify for that Bright Future Scholarship. So it's kind of a window to help the youth come out, 4-H people, and really kind of learn and also benefit by getting a little bit ahead and getting their hours so they can get them scholarships. Oh, that's great. Are you also hoping to expand on your sustainable living? Yes, I really would love to. I would love to do like maybe fall festivals and just sort of like really bigger events. You know, this was a really great event today. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. It really was just, all, and it all came to you. I mean, uh, it was really just such a blessing, but um, yes, I would love to grow and just, you know, even maybe later on down the road, find property, an acre or something like that and start crops and, you know, because it's just so much more feasible than meat. You know, they say like, you can get like two cows Mm -hmm. And you can get, you know, feed two people off of a couple of cows, but you can, like, feed 30 people off of, like, the same acreage. Right. If you did corn. Mm -hmm. yep. so. Well, I'm glad you're doing this. Uh, and this is all you. You've set it all up. It's your baby, isn't it? It is. But you know what? Listen, I couldn't do it without you and everybody else. Like, <laughs> seriously, because I'm, like, just really kind of, I guess, the getter going, getting everybody here and... On the phone with everybody, hey, you guys got me marked on your calendar, right? And really, I mean, and then everybody just shows up for me, and it's just such, it's so great. I love it. I love it. Great. I'm excited. Yes, we are too. So we're uh, I'm really excited to be part of this because it, it's also something that we've been wanting to do, uh, you know, around the community here. So. Yeah. It really goes, goes together with a lot of things that I, I'm hooking up with and talking to and people, you know, different companies that are, like, doing food foresting and, you know, because I have every, when we have that class, I have class every Wednesday, second Wednesday of the month, mm -hmm. and they come out and, you know, and I've had so many different, like, permaculture people come out and check us out and really, you know, be a part of it too, which is great. It's great learning. You learn so much. Oh, yeah. You'll learn a lot. <laughs> yes. It's definitely trial and error as this moment goes. Yeah, there's never a wrong way. <laughs> But I'm excited to see what happens in the next year for us, you know, because it was not even a year ago. I think it was six months and we were really talking about it and and really just happened way faster than I imagined it was going to happen. Good. And that's... Yeah, really. we'll, and we'll be here to keep track of it. So through the year, you know, through yes, the oncoming know. years, we'll definitely be a part of this yes. too. So I'm so glad. We'll keep everybody updated on it. I'm so glad. <laughs> well, well, thank you. Thank you. You guys have a good one.
All right, first one's done. You got to line with plastic because this is pressure treated. And the first bed is going in. So now we just got to puncture some holes for the water to come out and fill it up. All right, here's number two. And we're gonna use the stump as composting. So we're gonna bury that once we get the holes put into the plastic. Put some cardboard down, wet it, put some hay down, mulch down, and top it with topsoil. Number two. Okay, so we're behind the community center and this river actually divides Hernando County and Sumner County. This is the Little Withacoochee, which goes to River Junction, which goes to Withacoochee. So apparently this bridge, you can cross over and go behind Ridge Manor Estates and there's like a stilt house over here, a couple of mansions. So that's pretty cool. Let me walk along the riverbank here. It's a pretty steep, Steep bank all, you know, steep, but uh, I just got a local education on this. And uh, over here used to be the boat ramp many years ago. And this was officially the swimming hole. It's pretty deep. And where those uh, stones are used to be the entrance to the, to the boat ramp. Catch anything? Not yet. Not yet. Not too fish so far. Nice. Uh oh, y'all tangled. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful area. Nice. Why is that? She's pregnant though. Mom, 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 mom. I took her around there and show her. I see about. I guess they go up over there too. I see. Uh, yeah, bank yeah. You can go over that way. Actually, if you go down this little road and go down that one trail, there's like beautiful little rapids. It's gorgeous. It's like pretty little like clay. Really? Yeah. What, which road? You what you would do is you when you would go out through this park, you're gonna go down this. And that's the cardboard we're gonna be using. Got a nice big pile of it. And everybody's working on smaller boxes. <laughs> Keep watering it. You got to soak them really, really wet.
There you go. Good girl. That works. All right, keep that string. You can use it for something. <laughs> All right, now you guys take turns and let's wet down the hay. All right, start wetting down the hay. Use the um, use the spray nozzle part. Okay, we got one filled. We're filling this one with the stump. And uh, they'll have to get some more. And then this one will be ready for the soil when we get going. So, coming along really good.